All right, listen up. I want to share this word with you guys. This is something that the Lord dropped in my spirit as I was spending time with him on the 11th of February. Wow. <laughs> what was that? Was that a feather, y'all? Because I promise I do not see anything over here. Okay, play that back um, at some point, And I know I will too. And if I can catch the visual, I'll post it in the community. But listen, spending time with the Lord on the 11th, the 11th of February. And the Lord began to download these things to my spirit. And I think I said that some of this was personal. And I was um, uh, speaking with the Lord just to see if what I should reveal, what, what I shouldn't reveal. And so anyway, I have that in order right now. So I want to release that. I believe very strongly as God has already confirmed that we are in a season of this uh, transference, this double anointing, this double portion, um, as he had me speak about with Elijah and Elisha. And so I'm not stingy. I know I'm not the only person who knows how to knock and the door will be opened, who knows how to seek and they shall find. And so I want to share this with you guys. And I really want you to listen because God showed me something so beautiful in a vision. And it's going to answer a lot of questions for many of you who have been wanting to understand how do I use my keys? How do I use my keys? So what keys are, they are your answers. They are your clues. They are explanations. They give you clarity uh, to the route you're on, to the path that you're on. It reveals the secret things. It um, reveals strategies and formula. These keys are the mysteries of your now, okay? And so God said to me that he has opened the ancient doors, not all of them, but some of them. And so I'm going to speak a rhema word. This is what God spoke to my spirit as I was um praying with him and spending time with him and just letting him love on me. And so you guys, I'm going to share that. And this part that I'm sharing, again, many of you will bear witness to what he said to me because you've already experienced that as you've been following this ministry. But I'll go ahead and read it because it's important to what he actually showed me in the vision. So let me not be long winded. Let me go in to read the word. I have some scripture as well. So Father, I thank you for this revelation. And I ask that you allow those who this word is for. I, I ask that you allow them to see themselves in the word. Even though you were speaking to me um, in particular, I ask that you also allow them to bear witness to this word in their spirit. So Lord, I thank you. I glorify, honor, and praise you in Jesus' name. So this is what the Lord said to me. He said, so many things I want to share with you, my daughter, things you won't believe, things that are beyond your comprehension. So it's going to take his wisdom, okay? But he says, I want to show them to you. I want to give you the keys to unlock some ancient doors. These are doors of my wisdom. These are perpetual doors. These are forever doors, okay, that very few get to walk through. But I choose you to walk through. I choose you to walk through these doors, my daughter, to come into my library of wisdom, to choose whatever book you like to read, to learn of me and to learn of my ways. All right. This sounds strange. OK. And then the Lord says to learn and to share me with the world. I want my people to have an understanding of me, and I'm going to use you to bring that to them. They're going to see me like they've never seen me before through you, says the Lord. And so I began to rejoice and just thank the Lord and tell him that I'm honored. I was trembling under his presence. And I say this so humbly, but many of you have testified to the Lord doing just that through me using me to help you get a better understanding of who he is, to come into relationship with him, with God, with our creator, with our father, with Jesus, and then also with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so as the Lord said that, he began to touch my belly to confirm what he was saying. So I felt his presence like he was sealing up the word. So I had no doubt. All right. And then from there, I began to see the vision that I want to share. And this is how many of you are going to get your answers. This is how many of you are going to be able to 
to use the keys that God is giving you for your life, for the mysteries of your life. As you start your kingdom business, as you start your kingdom ministry, whatever you're doing for the Lord, this is going to help you. So as after the Lord said that, I was in a vision, you guys, and I was standing in this heavenly library. I've never seen this room before. The room was very organized. The bookshelves had a um, like scroll-like handles on the edges. It was very rich, very traditional, like an estate or a castle to give you guys like an, an idea of what this place looked like. Then I saw that the library sits inside of this big open book. So the book was like open like this, but I was in the room, in the library. So the library came out of this big book. And I, <laughs> the Lord is saying now like that's his book, like the master key, right? My God, help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. That's so good. As I looked at all the books, I'm standing in first person in the room and I'm able to look on the shelves and I'm just looking at the room and I noticed that none of the books had any titles or writing on the folds of the book as they were in the bookshelves. I saw no words on them. There were millions of books, you guys. And so... As I was noticing this and saying, okay, there's nothing on the books. Like, what is this about? <laughs> These are the mysteries and I'm going to feed them to you. I'm going to deposit them in your spirit. And whenever you need something, you ask me and I will give it to you, says the Lord. My God, I began to laugh as the Lord said this. I was just so full of his joy. And so you can read Jeremiah 33, 3, Job 12, 22, and Daniel 2, 22. Those scriptures all speak of revelation of mysteries from the Lord. Okay, these are things that you're going to find um, or you're not going to find rather by just simply comprehending with your mind. This is why God said, I'm going to show you many things that go beyond your comprehension. This is the wisdom of his Holy Spirit. And this is what you're going to have to operate in, in order for you to have longevity, in order for you to have sustainability, in order for you to be established. Then the Lord began to open the room up, you guys. So the room began to expand and there were so many books on the shelves okay and so there were medium-sized books there were small books but they were just filled all the shelves were filled and so my eyes followed as the room went higher and higher i just started looking up 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 as the room went higher okay so the shelves got smaller and then it almost it went so high that it looked like there were clouds up there. Okay, my God, <laughs> help me, Holy Spirit. And so the shelves got smaller and smaller the more the Lord opened up the room, again, because the room was going higher. So the room is not so much wide as it is tall. So this is a tall room, okay? And as I began to ponder on this, the Lord said, my wisdom is high. It is tall. So to go deeper in God, many of you have heard that like God is calling you into the deep. He's calling you to go deeper. He's saying that I am calling you to come higher in me, in my wisdom, in my knowledge, in my revelation, beyond your comprehension of what you thought I was or who you thought I was. I'm calling you deeper. I'm calling you higher to learn of me. And then I said out of my mouth, endless wisdom, endless knowledge. And the Lord said, everything you have dreamed of knowing is here. This is why I have so much to show you, says the Lord. You guys, you have to understand, we are eternal beings. We're never going to run out of knowledge, of things to learn in this life and the life to come. We're never going to stop learning. God is so multifaceted. He's so deep that we'll never run out of things to do. We'll never run out of things to learn. Thank you, Lord. And so then the Lord kept highlighting this medium sized book to me and it was red in color. And so I asked the Lord if I could quote unquote read the book. But then I remembered that he said it has to be deposited. So I said, Lord, deposit the red book. And then I saw myself standing in the library. So now I'm looking at the vision at myself, you guys. And so I, I see myself like from behind and I saw myself open my mouth. And the book went into my mouth and then particles of the book began to be distributed through my body and spirit. 
And then the Lord began to share some things with me that I'm going to keep between me and him. Okay. So I am sharing this with you guys again, to help those of you who've been trying to hear from God, to learn from him, to seek answers from him. Those of you who are building the foundations of your businesses, of your ministries, the Lord says that you will never run out of content. You will never run out of creative ideas. You will have multiple streams of income. It's all in the library, all the ideas, all the wisdom, all the power to get wealth. God is saying it is in that library. He's going to fill up your mouth. He's saying, open up your mouth and I will fill it. Ask me what it is that you want and I will give it to you, says the Lord. This is Deuteronomy 8.18. He gives you that wisdom. He gives you that power to get wealth and that power is his wisdom. And that starts on the inside. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So this is Deuteronomy 8.18. Let us all be careful not to forget the Lord our God when these things take place, when he gives us the wisdom to operate, when he gives us the wisdom to um, thrive in an economy that is surviving. Thank you, Lord. He is doing some miraculous things. He is doing marvelous things. And this wisdom is coming from his library. Thank you, Lord. Let me give you guys some scriptures. Psalm 81.10 says, I am the Lord thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. Jeremiah 1 9 says, then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. John 16, 13 says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will declare to you the things that are to come. This is God's wisdom being downloaded through his spirit, which lives on the inside of you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that you reignite or ignite the fire and the power of your Holy Spirit in your people, in your people, in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, just as you have found me worthy to show me this ancient library, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Father, I ask that you allow those who you've sent to this message to see this vision, just as you've uh, shown it to me. I ask that you give them a revelation of this heavenly library that you have, Lord God as they seek you wholeheartedly, as they seek your face, as they seek your wisdom above everything, above money, above whatever it is they want. Father God, I ask that you give them the mind to seek your wisdom. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So you guys, I pray that this message has been a blessing to you. I pray that there has been a transference of anointing, of impartation, of wisdom, and so much more that the ancient doors that the Lord is allowing very few of us to walk through is such an honor. But I, I pray that this word equips you. God has anointed me to help his people out of Egypt, out of your slavery, your bondage, whatever that's been spiritually, right? And physically into your wilderness to be pruned, to be cleaned up, to be made whole, to be brought back into right relationship with God so that you can move into your promised land, which is your purpose, which is your assignment, which is your restoration and so much more. So I pray this word has been a blessing to you. Please play it back, share it with someone. I'm going to find out what that was that came through at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I think it was a heavenly feather or something. I don't know, but I'm going to check it out, you guys. You guys know that the Lord always manifests his presence to let you know that he is with me. So that is my confidence. So you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for your support and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Let's continue to grow the kingdom of God matters. I am prepared, as the Lord said, he wants to show me so much. So I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to seek him wholeheartedly to um, get what it is that I need to get from him that he wants to share with me, to share with you guys, to bring you into deeper relationship with him, into your purpose, into sustainability, into longevity. The Lord said this as well. He said, trust in me and all that you do and your ways will be established. This is like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, but what he means in established. The word means successful for a long period of time, accepted and well known. So this is his promise to you. You don't have to worry about 
as you work for God, as you work in the kingdom of God, you don't have to worry about it failing. You don't have to worry about your business failing, your ministry failing, whatever it is. Okay. So keep your eyes focused on the Lord. Keep your eyes focused on him as provider. I was telling a client this today that you are on God's payroll now. Okay. So there's no need to worry about what didn't work out in the past. You are sticking with plan A and God's going to provide. He's going to test you to see where your heart is. And after your knees stop shaking over what your bank account looks like, then he's going to be able to show you who he is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you guys, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.